Kristen Welker is moderator of Meet the Press. Kristen, Happy New Year. Good morning. It's great to see you. Um, so as Ali said there, Donald Trump yesterday in Iowa didn't have a lot to say about January 6th and the third anniversary other than should release people from prison who were convicted at trial there. Meanwhile, President Biden on Friday in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, did talk about democracy, did talk about the stakes as he put them of this election, perhaps according to some of your new reporting, with an assist on that strategy from his former boss. Willie, it's great to be with you and happy new year to you. You are absolutely right. That speech that President Biden delivered about January 6th, casting former President Trump as a threat to democracy can really be seen as the official kickoff to his campaign. And advisors say you can expect his campaign to get more aggressive, particularly as they deal with those stubbornly low poll numbers. They're looking towards his State of the Union address. One advisor saying this is probably going to be the most important speech of his presidency, and it's going to set the tone for this year. You mentioned that assist from his former boss, former President Obama. The Washington Post was first to report that Obama and Biden had lunch in December. This was at the invitation of President Biden. And during that lunch, Mr. Obama expressed his concerns about 2024 about former President Trump's strength, effectively saying, look, we all know that he has this massive and loyal following. The Washington Post also reporting that Obama called for structural changes to the campaign. So it'll be notable to see if that actually happens. I've been talking to Democratic strategists who say, look, the real concern is that the campaign kind of brushes aside criticism and doesn't do anything with it. Will they this time around? So expect the Biden campaign to ramp up. And again, a key focus on the State of the Union address, which is set for March 7th, Willie. And we'll be very interested to see how much President Obama is out on the campaign trail this year. Mm -hmm. Kristen, thank you so much. We, of course, will look for more this morning on Meet the Press when Kristen is joined by Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik of New York, as well as Israeli President Isaac Herzog and President Biden's deputy campaign manager, Quentin Folks. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.